Welcome to the Game Plane. I'm Jay Flats. I'm here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, South Bend, Indiana, Peoria, Illinois, Los Angeles, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Honolulu, Hawaii, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Austin, Texas. Here in Bellingham, Washington, it's just above freezing. So what are we waiting for? Let's board the Game Plane. You ready for this? Arizona's correct, that's four. <laughs> $250 richer with a camera, the damage we can do this weekend. You've made a flight connection. We're here on Allegiant Air Flight 401. We're on our way to Las Vegas, Nevada. When we reach safe cruising altitude, this plane will become the game plane. What's your name? Melissa. My name is Brittany Brown. I'm from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Camille. Clover Shade. Yeah, Brent. Dave Eisenberg from Madisonville, Kentucky, where the air's a little lighter and the sun's a little brighter. Here's how the game works. I have a list with the names of 10 people, places, or things that are all in one category. You'll have to describe these things to your partner without using any of the words found in the answer. We got this. Got it? Right. Just want to let you know you can pass on any clue at any time and we can go back to it. Are you ready? Right, ready. The category is what you'd find in a casino. Go. Okay, these are the things that you pull the hammer down. Slot machine. Yeah. That's correct. Next. Okay, you try to get the guy, the royalty guy, and it's, um, you get an Royal A. Royal flush. No, it's an ace, and you play it, and you, it's like $10. Blackjack. Yeah. Blackjack is correct. Okay, he's the one that gives you the cards. The dealer. Okay, we love this game. We want a lot of money. Yep. Okay, this is Russian. Roulette. Okay. Oh, you play with these. They're poker. Chips. Okay, and I just said what? 30 seconds. Poker. Yep. Okay, and then you take your chips to the person that gives you the money. Cashier. Okay, this is, uh, we play it at the bar. Oh, 20 seconds you left. pick numbers. Keto. Yep. Okay, uh, Pat said Jack made away. Jeopardy. Pat said Jack made away. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, Pat and that's it. it. Congratulations. <laughs> you got all 10 answers. <laughs> Which means you get those Cirque du Soleil tickets awesome. and $190 cash. <laughs> and I've got the cash right here. Troy, take the cash. Oh, right. Thank you so much. The game we're playing is called Checklist Challenge. Flight connection, landing letters. The fasten seatbelt sign just went on. Passengers, you know what that means. <laughs> Our next game is called How Smart Is Your Co-Pilot? And I'm looking for a married couple. All right, welcome to the game row, you guys. Hi. Tell me your Bye. names and where you're from. Jaletta Yoder from Cedar Falls, Iowa. And Roger Yoder from Cedar Falls, Iowa as well. Are you guys ready to play the game? Yeah. Here we go. I'm going to send Roger away for a little while and ask Jaletta five questions. Then Roger will come back and we're going to ask Roger if your wife knew the answers. Okay. okay? If we were at a big TV studio, we'd have an isolation booth for Roger to go to, but we're here on the game plane. So, Roger, where do you think we're going to send you? I'm presuming the Kaibo. Yes, that's what we're going to do right now. So, Melinda, go ahead and escort Roger to the isolation booth. <laughs> First question we asked Gilletta was, how many quarts are in a gallon? Was she right or wrong? Uh, I think she got it right. She knows about quantities of liquid. She drinks a lot of wine. <laughs> okay, so you're confident about I'm this. I'm confident about no this No question. One. She knows it. Well, let's find out. She got it right. Yeah. Yes. Four quarts and a gallon. Here's your first 50 bucks. All right. There you go. Yeah. Oh, she's taking the money already. <laughs> <laughs> In golf, what term is used when a player finishes a hole one stroke under par? Ooh, I play a lot of golf, but Joletta is just not sports-minded. I think she got this wrong. You think she got it wrong? She got it right. Oh. She knew that it was a birdie. We're going to go to our third question here. Okay. We asked Joletta. What popular exercise equipment did Suzanne Summers endorse in the 90s? She grew up in the 90s. I'm gonna say that she knows the answer to this question. Let's take a look for another yes. 50 bucks. She did get it yeah. right. So you got two right so far. That means that's another 50 bucks Woo! for you right there. The next question we asked Gilletta was, of Linguini, 
Fellini or Capellini, which is not a type of pasta. Joletta is a good cook. She knows a lot about Italian food. I'm gonna say she knows the answer to this question. Let's find out. She got it right, which means you're Woo! right, which means that's another 50 bucks. All right. yes. And the correct answer was Fellini, oh, Fellini, who was an Italian director. We've got one question left. Okay. If you can get this one right, you guys will win $200 and you'll have a chance to buy a special prize. Here we go. Name the sexy Latino who sang Livin' La Vida Loca in the 90s. I believe that she will know the answer to this question. She got yeah. it right. Woo! Congratulations, that's another 50 right. bucks. The correct answer, yeah. Ricky Martin Ricky was Martin. Livin' La Vida Loca. Woo! Now you guys can easily walk away with $200 or you can spend that $200 on a very special prize that we have. It could be worth 20 bucks all the way up to something worth $2,000. Wow. So up to you guys. Go ahead and talk it over real quick. Let's just do it. <laughs> Come on. Let's cash it in. Uh, here. Reluctantly, yeah. she's going to give me the $200 back. And we're going to find out. You've just purchased a prize. Let's take a look at what you've won. It's a pair of Armatron watches, Woo! men's and women's, worth $600 a piece oh, for a total wow. of $1,200. Wow. Well, the game is called Do You Read Me? And I'm going to give you a chance to win some cash and maybe a prize. You do get 140 bucks. Here's your 325 bucks. That's for you to take right now. $500. Where are you going to spend that? I'm going straight to the poker table. <laughs> straight to the poker table. Our next game is called Flight Connections. We're going to try and make sure you guys are compatible. How long have you guys been together? About six months. I'm going to ask you 10 questions. And if you can get seven out of 10, you're going to win $400. And we're going to send you to Casa de More, House of Love. How does that sound? Sounds great. So your first one, A, spicy, B, mild. That's a flight connection. You guys like it spicy, huh? A, five minutes early. B, five minutes late. Two for two, you guys. So it's good to be early, right? Absolutely. <laughs> We're going to go to the next one here. A, Kardashians or B, Duck Dynasty? A or B? What are you going to say? That's another flight connection. That's three for three, you guys. Which means if you can get the next connection, you will win $400 cash, and we're going to send you in a limousine to House of Love, Casa de More. Woohoo! All right. Woo! Sounds good. Dang it. Good luck. Here Bring we go. On. A, buy, B, lease. A, buy, B, lease. And that is a second right. flight connection. Congratulations, you guys. In my hand, I'm holding $400. That's for you, Garg. Hold Thank on to so that much. right there. You guys seem to be really compatible. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'd like to ask her something. Oh, oh, all right. Baby, before I met you, my heart was empty. And since I've been with you, it's been great. Would you honor me and accept my hand in marriage? Oh, she said yes, ladies and gentlemen. And the ring goes on. Now that's a flight connection, yes. It's time for the big deal. We're going to give you guys one card. All you have to do is tell me if the next card is higher or lower. Whoever can create the longest string of cards will be tonight's big winner and win the big deal here on the game plan. Let's see, what's the first oversized card? And it's the Jack of Spades. Angela, what do you say? Higher or lower? Lower. You're going to say lower. Let's take a look. And the next card is a three of clubs. Higher or lower? Higher. You're going to go higher. Let's take a look. The next card is the King of Diamonds. Higher or lower? Lower. Lower than the King of Diamonds. Let's find out. You have the Queen of Clubs. That was close. Next card, higher or lower? We'll go lower again. Going lower than a queen. What do you have? The Three of Diamonds. The next card, higher or lower? Higher. Higher than a Three of Diamonds. Let's take a look. And the next card is a 
three of spades, it's the same card, which means your string of cards stops right here. Take this little red flag and hold it up. If she can go further up the aisle than Angela did, she will be tonight's big winner and get a three-night VIP package at the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino. What's the first card? Four of hearts. Casey, what do you say? Higher. Higher than a four of hearts. Let's take a look. It's the king of spades. Next card, higher or lower? Lower. Lower than the king of spades. It's a jack of diamonds. What do you say? Higher or lower? Um, lower. Lower than the jack of diamonds. You have? The Six of Hearts. Higher or lower than the Six of Hearts? Higher. Higher than the Six of Hearts. The next card is the Eight of Diamonds. Casey, all you have to do is get the last card correct and you will win the High Roller Package at the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino. Higher or lower? What do you say, Casey? I'm going to say lower. Lower than an eight. Let's take a look at the final card. It is lower. Congratulations, Casey. You are the winner of the big on the Allegiant Air game plan. How about a big round of applause? Yeah. Did you have a good time? Absolutely. So I came to Vegas with a couple hundred dollars in my pocket to celebrate my friend's birthday with her. I'm leaving with a hotel, cash in my pocket, limo service, a show, and I don't have to stay in her one-bedroom apartment anymore. Yay! I love the game plane. Thank you guys for joining us right here on the game plane. We'll see you next time. <laughs>